Hey everyone, welcome to our Vintage Source Weekend. This weekend, uh, April 21st and 22nd, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. both days. We hear from the weatherman, it's actually gonna be sunny and 60 degrees, no rain. What a beautiful weekend to come on out and see everything that we have for you. Shop and have a little fun, have some uh, friend time when you come. And we are super filled, lots of good stuff. Let me take you a walk around. Cheryl made this beautiful island here with a new butcher block top and a salvaged uh, base. It's really gorgeous. I feel like we always have people asking for small bookcases and this is a nice little narrow one. Could fit in your bathroom or in your foyer. Anyone looking for a twin size um, off-white uh, bed? This is a really cute one with the little um, urn post at the top. It's a really beautiful desk with a dark walnut top and a steely gray uh, painted base. It's got locking drawers and um, a, a large uh, worktop to it. Now we're sliding over to Jenny's area. She has these really crazy um, chalkware dogs. There's one there and one there and there's a few more as we walk around. And tucked back there, there's a um, large uh, pencil post bed. And then there's the trunk with the whale painted on the top. That's really cool. Very nice ornate dresser painted uh, white and then with lots of distressing really shows off that carving. Jenny is fond of using all the airspace that she has in her section, all the vertical space. So there's many things stacked here. I'm just going to spin around and get the general idea. More mid-century pieces left in their natural wood. Um, and this is the long dresser that goes with what you just saw. I love these mid-century um, children's chairs that you're seeing here. And here's another island if for those of you that are in the market. We have several islands here this month. Now we're over into an Andrew section. I wanted to see that there's a pair of those um, French style club chairs with the oversized seats. This is one of those industrial carts that people use as um, low coffee tables. It's very cool. All right, so be prepared. They have a few lamps, so we're gonna, we're gonna just scale up here there's many, many tucked on this table back there with the rug behind it. And then there's this beautiful um, console table, if you can see it back there. No, a few more lamps back here. Look at that one. That one's fabulous. So is this lamp. I want to get in on it um, kind of like a ceramic bark. Can you see that? Mid-century style. Tall, big statement lamp. Love it. And here's a very cool bench, church pew style. I cannot believe this didn't sell last month. This would be gorgeous on your covered porch. There's a pair of oars tucked back there. Can you see those? And an yeah. antique tilt top table with a beautiful mahogany finish. I wanted you to see the, the feet. Can you see the feet? There you go traditional splayed Always, feet. Um, the boys have beautiful rugs, and there is a table under the sea of lamps there. And I forgot to film this section of Jenny's. This is a Henradon, and you raise up, can you see the marble inlay in the top? This is a Henradon bar. Gorgeous. Look at the reeded wood. Mmm, so pretty. Very Hollywood Regency. And I'm just gonna kind of slide down here. 
And then that's that lingerie chest that she did this month that turned out really cute. And then down this way to this turquoisey teal painted dresser, here's a demi loon on top of a farm table. Now we're over in Richard and Jerry's section. I really like how they did this uh, mid-century dresser. And the two, two little um, china hut cheer and a, and a fun yellow. And then Jerry has picked up all this crystal. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's that really neat um, little etched star pattern. And she's got a million pieces to it. She's selling it in small grouping, so um, you can pick up what you'd like. I think that's a bow of a bow and arrow hanging on top of her hull tree. Another kitchen island, this time um, made by Richard and Jerry with the brick red on the bottom and the banded butcher block Very on the cool top. bench made of an old bed and then um, with a uh, subtle taupe and beige cushion. Gorgeous oak top farm table. It's seven feet long. It's got the turned legs. Really pretty finish on it. Sweet blue, um, narrow hull tree. Uh, Jerry said that this uh, console table was made by the Amish and it is uh, cherry. Look how cool this china hutch cabinet is. Grilled wood on bottom and then they painted the uh, body of it off white. Another little narrow bookcase. back in Lisa's section. She's got this gorgeous dresser that she redid and a creamy off-white, um, heavily distressed. It turned out beautiful. She's got some great new artwork in. I love that metal sailboat that she's got hung on the wall there. She did a off-white and a glaze over it. Beautiful. Back up here so you can see her traditional style table with seat lots of people. And then look, she did um, a little uh, tiny bookcase, mm, curio cabinet, in a pretty seaside blue, and a cream on the inside. It's gorgeous. Look at this fun chintz wing chair. The color tones on it are really fabulous. And this piece, she backed um, some beautiful wallpaper and that it then did a two-tone effect on the drawers. It's really cute. A pair of end tables here with the Greek key um, fretwork going around the side. Adorable little dog bed for your special little dog at home. Okay, now we're walking over to Denise's section. That's a cool um, bookcase here. And we'll just kind of do a walk around. Really cute end tables, coffee tables, small desks. Great fun colors. Here's another narrow bookcase on top of one of her plank top coffee tables. It's a very narrow uh, console table. This would be perfect in your hallway coming in your foyer because it doesn't stick out too far. And it's on top of one that is just a little bit wider. And a baker's rack and then a little bar cart with a wooden insert. Back in Explore Couture's area, the mobile boutique, she has got some fun, fun summer colors coming up. I really like that drapey top right there, that blue one. Cute sundresses, little sweaters to throw over on those chilly days. Your standard black and whites that we all need. And then she's got a little bit of the nautical. Lots to choose from. She's great about having sizes for everybody. So we're gonna see you all this weekend, we hope. Saturday and Sunday, April 21st and 22nd, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. See you here.